Hi, it's me again with Corel Draws Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this cute little saying on Facebook, and somebody asked how you do it, and he already answered it, use the envelope tool. But I thought I'd share how I would do it and see if I can't do as good a job as he did. I'm going to change this text to impact. And then I'm going to control K and break them apart. This longest line is 13 point. We're going to make it 13. So it'll be easier to remember. We're going to make this line with the ratio unlocked 13. 13. And he used probably a different text. So let's let's select them all and hit C on the keyboard. It'll put them all this together or I'll line them up now because they're broken apart we can use the envelope tool individually it's underneath your drop shadow and we're going to grab that center node and hold down the control button so we go to the center stay on the center we're going to click on the roller coaster hold down the control button until we get to the center then here's kind of the trick we need to take our shape tool and let's see what our nudge distance is it's 10 inches that won't work let's go 0 0.0 no it's probably 0 0.025 or 0.25 let's see if that works nudge that up to let's go three clicks one two three actually that's pretty good then you take the right and let's move the right up grab the envelope tool again and just bring it down while holding down the control button so it'll stay even and there's the hardest part you're already done i think it looks pretty good we can maybe nudge the right up a little bit more change our nudge distance to point one two five get that right a little bit away then i'm just going to make a rectangle he made his go on the outside. I'm going to make mine pretty much even. I'm going to make it 13. I'm going to select select them all and hit C so my rectangle will be in the center. I'm going to grab the envelope tool on my box. And the reason I put it in the center is because now that node is for sure in the center. Now he went all the way to the bottom and I'm going to do that. So we don't want that much gap between the top so let's take that one and nudge it down a little bit let's take this one and nudge it down a little bit i didn't count i should have been counting and now let's nudge the whole thing up and you can see why i didn't where i didn't count because i'm off so now we're about equal and we need to go a little bit more so i'm going to go one two three four Click on this one, one, two, three, four. I'm just hitting the down arrows. And then let's nudge the whole thing up. And I really like this scoop so we can go back to the envelope tool and bring our ride holding down the control button. Kind of like right there. Now take the smart fill tool with black. And I would select it all and then left or right click no outline so you won't have a chance and his still looks a little bit better but uh, for two minutes that's pretty good let's select it all make it a little bit e bigger make it even like with his now he did add a hang on right here and you could do that but that's the Envelope tool cut on steroids. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.